Alright guys, welcome back to another Call of the Wild the Angler video. Today we are headed out here on the new South Africa Reserve and on this occasion what I'm gonna show you are some of the diamond locations that have been found recently and that have been posted on the official The Angler Discord server. I didn't discover any of these locations myself, so the credit goes to whoever posted them first on the official server. Oh, is that finally big boy? About time. Five point ninety two kilos, series of gold. The first gold of the day after like fifty silvers. Like really, I've been on this spot for more than an hour today, and this is literally the first decent thing I land. Holy! Is that a smallmouth? I really hope it is, the tension is nice. Maybe diamond. I haven't seen it jump a single time, which is not a good sign because the smallmouths like to jump out of the water a lot. Oh, no way! It is in fact a smallmouth. A smallmouth yellowfish, a huge one. How heavy? 5.82, another gold. Not even as heavy as the last one. At least this time it didn't take us a crazy amount of bronzes and silvers to get another gold. Ooh! What is that? Is this another giant smallmouth yellowfish? Yeah, apparently it is. Shortly after the last gold. And this one may be diamond, let's see. Six point fifty four kilos, it is massive. What a giant. Not too far from our personal base, but honestly I was really hoping you'd be diamond, especially after seeing that initial tension, so it is quite disappointing, not gonna lie. Oh my god. Look at the size of this yellowfish. That's a big boy. Hamakas were a number one minnow, which is for goals and better. He should bite. Yeah, there he is. We gotta be ready for a fight though, because I'm pretty sure the line I have equipped on this rod has only 5 kilos of strength. Yeah. This guy is a monster. Maybe the heaviest we have caught so far and hopefully heavy enough to be diamond. Man, we have spent a lot of time on this location trying to get one since yesterday, so I would say we deserve one at this point. And it's looking good. It is taking a lot of line on the 5 kilo line. Fortunately, the shore is there to prevent him of taking more line and he doesn't have any room to keep running. He won't go any further. Come on. He's giving up. Honestly, at this point, seeing how hard this guy is fighting, I don't see any scenario where he doesn't end up being our first time on smallmouth yellowfish. It is Crim's diamond. I can see it from here, and man, he has to be. He has to be, there's no way he's not. Let's see. Let's go, it is a diamond. 7.64 kilos. Finally. We had to grind for this one. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we had to catch around 150 smallmouth yellowfish in order to catch this guy. So about time, here we have it. As you can see, we caught this one on a size 1 minnow, but like 95% of the time I was using a number 5 spinner, which honestly works great for these guys, and it is gonna let you catch everything from bronze to diamond. So I'm gonna show you the location right here. It is essentially the area on this river mouth, around here. 
Most of the diamonds seem to spawn where I have this marker or very close to it, but it's very likely that they can also spawn all around this area or potentially anywhere within this lake. So I would recommend you to park your boat exactly where I'm at the moment, and I would also recommend you to use a number 5 spinner, which as I mentioned earlier is for bronze and better in the case of the smallmouth yellowfish, and you're gonna catch a lot of fish with it. Ok, we're getting a bite on the hook size number 1. And it can only be two things. A silver largemouth yellowfish or a huge smallmouth yellowfish. It is hard to know at the moment, but we gotta keep an eye out and pay attention to see if it jumps, because if it jumps then it is most likely a smallmouth, since the smallmouths like to jump. Oh, it jumped! It jumped! It is a massive smallmouth yellowfish, guys potentially another diamond like an hour and a half after the last one. It's been a grind, but finally the big ones are starting to appear. It is 100% another smallmouth yellowfish. So the only question is, is it gonna be heavy enough to be another diamond? You know, the fight lasted like 2 or 3 minutes, so... I don't have any doubt, this guy is another diamond, let's see. Seven point seventy six kilos. Let's go. We really struggled to get the first one, and now we have gotten two in the last two hours. That's how it goes. No way. What is that? Another bite on the hook size number one. And again, I don't know what it is. It may be a huge smallmouth yellowfish or a silver largemouth yellowfish. If it is a largemouth, you won't see this clip. No way! He jumped! He jumped out of the water, it is a smallmouth. This is literally the next cast after the last diamond. That's crazy. Now, in case you're wondering, what is the average time I usually have to spend grinding on a single location before a diamond spawns? Well, I would say that it really depends on the location, because some places are just way better than others, and you can consistently catch multiple diamonds within the first two hours on such hotspots. While on the other hand, you have other places that even though are also diamond locations, are not as generous as the most popular spots. So it really depends a lot on the hotspot, but I would say that on average, I tend to get one diamond every two hours. And that is taking into consideration the multiple times where I've gotten multiple diamonds in less than an hour. For example, before catching the diamond yellowfish we caught like an hour ago, I had to spend like five hours in total fishing on the same place between two days before the diamond spawned. So sometimes it can definitely take a while to get whatever trophy you want. But at the end of the day, what truly matters is to enjoy the process. And I can say I enjoy grinding for diamonds. Now it's time to see the weight of this monster. Is this another diamond? Let's see. Wow. Our new personal base, another diamond. 7.94 kilos. What's interesting is that each of the diamonds we have gotten today has been slightly heavier than the previous one, but none of them has been truly heavy, because these guys can weigh more than 9 kilos. Now, as I said earlier, the setup I recommend using on this boat is a bait casting rig with a number 5 spinner, since it is normally faster than using a float, although the float can also be a very good option as long as you choose minnow or redworm as baits. Just make sure to cast all around the boat, because remember, the goal here is to catch as many fish as possible, so eventually a diamond spawns, hopefully sooner rather than later. Now, the next location I visited in my quest for every single diamond of the new species on this reserve is this cave right here. You know, inside this cave there's a pond, and on this pond it is possible to catch a diamond African moral deal, one of the most elusive diamonds on this reserve. So I decided to give it a try using a hook size number 5 plus minnow on a bottom setup, which is for bronze and better in the case of this species, and well, you will see what happened. Oh, hold up. Now that's some tension. Finally a big kill. 4.1 kilos, it is a gold. And interestingly enough, it is longer than our personal base, which actually was way heavier than this one. 
That's interesting. I wonder if they are now longer after the hotfix. That's a nice heal. Nice tension. Several catches after the last one, but finally. I don't think it will be Diamond though. 4.71 kilograms, big old. Really big old, and also longer than our personal best, which I guess confirms that they are in fact longer now. They are bigger. Oh. I don't wanna get my hopes up too much because it could also be catfish, but if it is a nil, it may be diamond. Please be a nil. And it is a nil. Man, I hope it is a diamond. Let's see. Oh, come on, it is only gold. 4.92 kilos, at least it is our new biggest. It is a monster. And the reason I'm using Wafters White now is because I ran out of minnows and red worms after catching a crazy amount of bronzes and silvers. These calls are rare. Alright, as you could see, we had the luck to catch multiple calls on this amazing location, but sadly we couldn't get that elusive diamond we really wanted. So I thought it was a good idea to take a break from this cave and head over to another hotspot that is also known for being able to produce diamond deal. Essentially this area right here. Okay. Is this a catfish or a eel? Well, actually it could also be a huge red nose labeo because we are currently using a hook size number 4 and that is for diamond labeo. And this is also a hotspot for them. So, let's see. Honestly seems way stronger than a labeo. No shot, it is an eel. It is an eel. Holy, this may be our diamond guys. Yes, 6.33 kilos. Hey, Diamond African Mortal Deal. Man, I really wanted one of these. Looks amazing. On a hook size number 4 with Red Worm, bottom setup. It is funny because I spent like 3 or 4 hours fishing on the cave catching dozens of fields without a single diamond, then as soon as I come here, I got a diamond on the second cast. Look at all these hills. It's been crazy. So I'm more than glad it finally happened. Okay, that is a purple avio. Oh, wow. I had to lower the track because that's some tension. Seems like this guy is at least a gold. And I wouldn't be surprised if it is a diamond. Man, it is strong. Still running. And the thing is that we cannot increase the track anymore because we're currently using the most powerful spinning reel in the game and it is needless to say that it's overpowered for labio fishing. I mean, the line strength is appropriate, it is 3 kilograms, but the reel is overpowered. Way overpowered. I can't wait to see how big is this guy. I don't think it will be diamond, but I wouldn't rule that out. Just imagine how cool it'd be. Let's see the size. Holy! It is a gold. It is a gold. 3.4 kilos. Way bigger than our first gold. Alright guys, I think we hooked another monster here. Seems like it is another purple labio. And the reason why the tension is not as high with this one is because we're using a heavy line. Three point forty five kgs. Man, that's a nice catch. Bigger than the first goal. That is big. Man, I think that may be diamond. 
Hama swap to a hook size number 4 with Red Worm, which is for Colts and Better, and I would definitely expect it to bite. Come on. And there he goes. Let's pay attention to the tension bar because that is gonna tell us if it is in fact as big as we think it is. That is exactly what I wanted to see. The tension was so high that we were forced to lower the drag below 10%. Seems like we finally found that elusive diamond. No shot, this guy is heavy. And it was completely unexpected. I was just about to leave the spot because I was barely getting any more bites and then I look down and I see this guy swimming almost below the dock. You know, the moment I saw it, I instantly thought, man, this guy gotta be diamond. And it seems I was right. Let's see. We are close to landing. How big is it? 4.5 kilos, finally. Our first time on purple labeo. Or labio, I honestly don't know how it is pronounced. What an amazing catch, it is a very unique looking fish. Not necessarily a fan of how it looks, because in my opinion it looks like a toy, and far from being realistic, definitely the worst of all the new models, which overall are fantastic, but it's a unique looking fish nonetheless. And an amazing catch. So I'ma show you the location on which we caught this monster, right here, exactly on this dock, on this part of the river. I arrived to this location around 10 a.m. in game time, and I've been catching many bronzes and silvers using a hook size number 6 with either red worm or eggs. You know, the bites can be quite slow sometimes on this place, so it is very important to be patient and try to cast all around the dock towards both sides as well as towards the center. And simply the best thing you can do is to keep catching fish until hopefully diamond spawns. There's nothing else to it. It is probably gonna take a while because this is apparently a tough diamond, but if you put in the time, it has to happen at some point. What is that? What is that tension? It cannot be carp since I'm currently using eggs, so it must be another giant labio. Labeo, I mean. I keep saying labio, man. Okay. The tension is very similar to the diamond. Very, very similar. And by the way, this is happening like 50 minutes after the first diamond. I haven't moved a single time from this dock. Now it's time to see how heavy is this diamond. It is undoubtedly diamond. And I hope it is huge. Yes, it is a diamond. 4.4 kilos on the dot again. Well, the last one was actually 4.5. Such a great catch. Our second diamond purple labeo. So anyway guys, that's gonna be it for today's video, if you enjoyed this kind of content, don't forget to leave a like and a comment to support the video, and please consider subscribing to the channel to receive the notifications for all the upcoming guides. So with that said, thank you for watching, and see you next time.